Hey folks, long time no video, right? As of this video, it's been just under two months since I last released a series video, and I felt that I kind of owed it to all of you to explain what's been going on. In as few words as possible, I got burnt out from doing YouTube. When I decided to take a break, I was putting out four hour-long videos per week. Each of those videos represented about an hour and a half of actual recording, plus another two to three hours of audio tweaking and video editing. For those of you doing the math in your heads, I'll save you some time and say that it added up to about a part-time job's worth of hours doing video work, on top of a full-time job. Quite frankly, it wasn't healthy. I found myself not playing games because every time, there'd be a little feral goblin voice saying, this is too cool to have to yourself. You need to save it for a blind let's play, so your reactions can be genuine. I was ignoring my health, my diet, my exercise, my search for a better job, my social life, because creating videos ate up that much time. Eventually, it all came to a head when I sat down to record a new series. I just finished Bioshock and Dishonored 2, two very dark games and found out too late in each series that YouTube had made the early episodes completely unwatchable. This series would be a new start. A new game that I was super excited to play, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I sat down and it felt like I was on fire. I was entertaining, I was witty, I was immersed in the game, I was providing commentary that felt natural and funny. Five hours flew by in that recording session. Two and a half weeks worth of recording, in the bag only needing minor editing to be gold content. Then I sat down to edit it, and found out that because of a mistake with my microphone settings, none of it was usable. Crackling, static, clipping, peaking, hissing. And I just sat there, I, I was numb. Five hours of my life gone, down the drain, two weeks worth of footage, useless. And heaven help me, I broke. I shut down the PC, fell in my bed, and just screamed into the pillow. And I guess that's what really started this hiatus. Shut down the microphone, hit the OBS icon, and I just played some games. I played through Kingdom Come Deliverance, free from needing to be perpetually active, perpetually commentating, free from only, only being able to play when I'm in a good shape to talk and shout for an hour, free from being limited to only three hours a week to fit my two videos a week schedule. I played 150 hours of Kingdom Come Deliverance in these past two months. It's been glorious. I, ins I installed the Borderlands 2 Reborn mod. I took a new character from level one to OP8 in the course of about a week. It was honestly liberating. L like I chucked off a weight that I hadn't known I'd been carrying. And it made me do a lot of thinking. On why do I do this? Why do I do YouTube? Why do I spend so much time editing and recording videos? Because, let's be honest, much as I would like it if it were different, I'm really never going to be one of the YouTube greats. I'm never going to be PewDiePie or, or Markiplier or, 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 or Sorcerer Dave or Gopher, Money a True Nerd. You know, any of those people who are incredible at YouTube, who have incredible followings, who are always incredibly funny or immersed. I'm never going to be one of those people. Am I doing YouTube because I want to share fun games with my friends? Because I enjoy interaction with people online? I do both of those things. But it's kind of undermined when you consider that each of my recent videos of the past, you know, month or so, two months before the hiatus, none of those got more than, you know, six views. And most of them had one or less. So saying I did it for other people feels disingenuous, dishonest even. Ultimately, I had to come to the conclusion that I do YouTube because it's fun. Because I enjoy it. Because I like the creative process, poking fun at games, getting better making videos, improving myself, improving my process. And because I came to that conclusion, I think I have to make some changes in how I do YouTube. Because I do want to come back. It's a creative outlet for me, and it helps me reduce stress. And 
humbly speaking, it's one I'm not too bad at. But I can't treat it like I've been doing. I can't treat it like a job. Obsess about not playing a game so that I can have genuine reactions for a blind let's play months in the future. In short, I can't let this hobby become my life. So, what does that mean for the channel? Ultimately, it means that some series are not coming back. Divinity Original Sin was one of those games that I can't play this on my own because look at this, it's such a great game, it'll be a great let's play. And it wasn't. Because it's a great game, but I don't know how to commentate for it. I don't know how to edit the videos for it. It's just a lot of fiddling around. And that doesn't make good content. Other series like Morrowind and Skyrim. I definitely want to keep going on those ones. But I can't do them to the same extent that I was doing before. I can't have, you know, hours upon hours of content, two hours per week, because that will just drain me. Drain me of any enthusiasm I have, I have for the game. So those are coming back, but in a reduced, less stressful format. Probably just one really high quality video per week. Some games, like Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, will just never be done on this channel. Because I don't like them enough to maintain enthusiasm to keep playing them for a let's play that'll be probably hundreds of hours long. And that really is what it comes down to. Is that I'm going to continue doing YouTube. But I'm going to be playing for me. And that may sound selfish. But it's the attitude I'm going to have to take if I want to stay sane. I need to have time to play games for myself. To have a life for myself outside of YouTube. To have time to look for a better job. To exercise. To get outside the house. Outside of this one room that is both bedroom and studio. And hopefully, that means that playing for me, playing for myself, will mean better videos for you. Now, looking at the recording, it's been about nine minutes of me blabbering along. And if you're still here listening... Thank you so much. I, I really mean that. It's super helpful to be able to just get on the microphone and talk to people. And hopefully, it won't be too long until we see each other again in-game. Thanks for listening, and have fun.